Hello guys, this is Mr. Valencia. Today I wanted to make another video about distance learning tech tools for math teachers. Uh, basically, I wanted to show you uh, tools that I have been using that I found effective during uh, remote learning. So today I want to talk about student support using graspable math. So if you're not familiar with them, I'm providing you with their website is graspablemath.com. And once you go into their website, you are going to get something like this. All right, so once you are on their website, I want you to click on Explore Algebra. That's what we're going to do. And this is free to use. So you're going to click on Explore Algebra. And once you do, it's going to take you to the canvas for graspable math. Now, once you're there, on the upper left, there is an option for insert and we're going to click in math expression so i'm actually going to show you what it looks like okay so once you are on the graspable math canvas you're going to go to insert math expression so let's say that your students are uh solving linear equations so let's say they're doing something like 5x minus two is equal to two X plus five. So let's say that they were solving this equation. So when you're solving the equation, you wanna isolate the variables, you wanna have the, have the X's on one side and the numbers on the other side. So um, a student might try to, let's say, move the negative two. Let's say I wanna take the negative two and bring it to the right side. So notice once I bring it to the right side, it became positive. Let's say now that I want all the X's on the left side. So I'm gonna take the two X and bring it to the left so now i have 5x minus 2x and i have 5 plus 2. if i click on the plus it's going to combine like terms if i click on the minus here is going to combine like terms now the only thing that i have left to do is divide by 3. so i'm actually going to grab the 3 and bring it to the right side notice once i bring it to the right side i get a fraction line and that is it i get that x is equal to 7 over 3. now this is one of the things that i like that the students can actually expand all the steps and see their work. So I like that it allows students to play in a safe environment uh, and it allows them to see all their work. All right, let me show you another example. So once again, we're gonna go to insert on the left side, math expression. Let's say that uh, this time we wanted to solve a quadratic equation. So let's say we wanna do three X squared uh, let's say plus 2x minus 5 equals 0. So let's say your students were solving this quadratic equation. I want to show you that on the upper right, there is an, an option for formula. So if you click in there, you get um, the quadratic formula and you get a lot of options for factorization. So I'm going to solve this equation using the quadratic formula just to show you what it looks like. So once I click on quadratic formula, notice how I get a rectangle on my equation. So I'm going to click it here. And what's going to happen is it's going to apply the quadratic formula to my equation. So now I'm going to simplify the, this expression one, one, one thing at a time. So I'm going to do like 2 squared is 4. 4 times 3 is 12. 12 times negative 5 is negative 60. Double negative becomes positive. I could do 2 times 3 is 6. Uh, 4 plus 60 is 64. And then the square root of 64 is 8. So notice how uh, the students can actually expand this and see every step along the way. We can expand this every step along the way. And then at this point, uh, if I click on the plus and minus, because I'm going to get two solutions, it actually gives me that x is equal to negative 2 plus 8 over 6, or x is equal to negative 2 minus 8 all over 6. And I can continue to simplify this. And I can do the same thing over here. And then you can expand this. So the students see all every single step um you could leave it as five thirds i think if you click on it it might change it into it changes into a decimal or you could leave it like that all right so let me go back to the presentation 
So what do I like about it? I really like that the students can practice and then they can see all the steps. Uh, the students are usually very comfortable using technology and it's like a safe way to practice because it doesn't allow them to like make a mistake. Um, I also like that they had uh, some formulas in here on the right side, um, like the quadratic formula. Um, and it also has some op options for factorization. So I think this could be very powerful and very useful for any student um, taking out an algebra class because they could practice equations, inequalities, factorization, um, which can re be really helpful. So I think that is that is it for now. I hope that this video was helpful and thank you very much for watching.